Hi, my name is Jimmy Johnston. I'm a fire training captain for Wally Fire Rescue. And this here is one of our brand new fire trucks. The 2023 Rosenbauer Roadrunner 68 foot aerial. With the way that we have our setup, is we've got two hand lines here, two pre-connect hand lines at 150 feet set up here in the front bumper. And this is our primary attack lines. One other thing I wanted to make mention of is our grill. We have a custom cutout, Wiley, as well as the American flag on the top. Now this panel is removable for service. So as we take it off, we're able to access our power steering fluid, our oil fill, oil check, windshield washer, as well as checking our coolant levels here. We have the commander cab with a, a trenched elevated raised cab in the back, able to accommodate headspace for any of the firefighters back there. Has seating for six with four air packs. We have a full complement of EMS equipment in the cabinet in the back, along with any of our gas meters and any other auxiliary equipment that we would carry in the cab itself. The pump is equipped with the 1750 GPM pump. That's a water pump, along with the CAF system, giving us 200 CFMs at 150 PSI. Then the driver's compartment, we have a C-Tech two drawer toolbox built into the system. This is where the driver will keep any of his appliances, his gear, air pack, and everything would go in here, along with the controllers for the Roadrunner Aerial, along with the nozzle controllers. This is our hand tool compartment. So our irons, flathead axe, big easy for any kind of unlock uh, kit or anything like that, that would all be stored within this area. Roll it up and this is where our power equipment will be. So within here we'll have uh, our Sawzalls and our K12 and any other uh, power uh, appliances. We'll start at the bottom here. We've got the controls for the aerial, the Roadrunner. 68 foot fly-by-wire joystick and the digital display which is the same display that's on a uh, the Viper unit that we also currently have and it works out very well for us. To the left we have enough space to carry a thousand feet of five inch LDH. To the right we have two slots set for 300 feet of three inch and our mid-rise high-rise bundles as well on the other side. Over along here in Officer 3, this would be our extrication compartment. Again, we have a slide out tray that would hold our power plant, spreaders and cutters. Along here, we would have our ram set up, any kind of chains, anything like that, salvage covers and so on and so forth would go in this compartment right here. And it is a 24 inch deep wide compartment, which the majority of these are. This would be our RIT rescue compartment, so our RIT pack would go here on the lower compartment along with our search rope and our mass casualty equipment bag up top. This is what I like to call the kitchen uh, junk drawer. And I say that because it's pretty much the one place that has everything else in it. We've got a couple of spare packs, we've got some dry chem extinguishers, water can, and so on and so forth that's stowed up in here. Up above all three of these compartments is a ladder rack that will articulate down once it's fully equipped We'll carry a duo safety three section 35 foot ladder, a two section 24, and a single section straight ladder 14 um, roof, load, roof ladder, along with a 14 foot pike pole on the top of the ladder rack. Uh, one thing that we changed on a prior unit that we have in service, service currently is we took out the, uh, the Cummins Onan generator and we added a 3,000 watt inverter. Well, with that dead space, we were able to put, extend our storage and put a larger compartment up here. So this would be used for anything that we have, such as a speed bump for any of our major accidents, um, any other kind of uh, storage for absorbent or anything like that can be stored up here. This is also a great area for post-fire Whenever you don't want the gear in the cab, we can put it in here and take it back to the station in order to change out of it and get it uh, cleaned up and get it deconned. This truck carries two deck guns as well as a monitor on the aerial tip. And these deck guns are TFT deck guns capable of 1,250 GPMs. And as we go to the bottom here, this is a pull-out drawer that can be used as a step, but we also utilize it as a compartment space 
for any cribbing and rescue equipment there. We get to this compartment here, and as you can see, it's already equipped with our little giant A-frame ladder. And this ladder is basically used as an A-frame. However, we can also straighten it and use it as a 15-foot straight ladder as well. But for a lot of our bread and butter, fire alarm calls, smoke detector calls, anything like that, or even the structure fires where we are needing to get in and get in the attic quick, this is our quick access ladder compared to bringing the ladder rack down. So last but not least, it's a 68 foot Roadrunner ladder. Three section, lightweight ladder on a Teleboom platform with a TFT valve over monitor system at the tip. It's a fixed monitor, allows us to have a 500 pound tip load as well as being able to flow 1250 GPMs on a two inch tip or on a fog nozzle, as well as having two two and a half to one and a half inch valves on the offsets of the monitor itself. So if we do any kind of roof operations or anything like that, we're able to create our own standpipe. Very lightweight ladder, very capable. The A-frame outriggers allows us to put a small footprint in areas in which residential streets don't allow for the H-style outriggers. So it's very nimble. It runs like an engine, but we're able to operate it as a truck as well. So again, that's our new truck, the 2023 Rosenbauer. Appreciate you being able to walk around the truck and allow me to show it to you. I'd like to thank Rosenbauer for the opportunity to be able to build another one of these trucks for our fleet, as well as Daco for being our dealer. Thank you and have a good day.